So how do you clear cache on iPhone in iOS 18? This is gonna be a step-by-step -step instructional video showing you exactly how to get rid of cache and save some storage. So first step into clearing your cache is by actually going up and opening your settings and go to your iPhone storage within general, go to your iPhone storage and just scroll all the way to the bottom, pass through these apps all the way to the bottom. You can see that there's something called system data. And for me, it is five gigs, but for the majority of the people, this is gonna be way bigger than this. Some people even have 40, 50 gigs of system da data. If you open this up, you can see that what it says, it says system data includes caches, uh, logs, and other resources currently in use by the system. So this is just a lot of storage is being eaten up by system data. I'm gonna go ahead and the first step to clear the cache is by individual apps. How do you do that? Majority of the apps, they have a setting built in that helps you clear cache. For example, if I open up my uh, Telegram, for example, and go to my settings, and then go to data and storage, and go to store storage usage, you can see that there is a dedicated button that says clear entire cache. So over time, it builds up a lot of cache because of the messages that you send, because of the photos and all the activities that you do. And it's so easy to just come here regularly and clear the cache. And it's just gonna get rid of all the unnecessary stuff, which is really good. So this is the first step you can do this for all the individual apps, for example, YouTube, Telegram, or any other app for that matter. But the best way to do this, if you don't have that built-in settings in the specific app, best way to go about this is actually deleting that app. For example, if I delete and then reinstall that app, what it does is that it's gonna come back with a clean slate. All of your data will not be deleted at all. You can just log back into your stuff and everything will be there. It's just gonna get rid of your cache. Next thing that you can do within the settings, if you open up your settings, and scroll all the way down to apps and then open up your browser. For example, whether it's Safari, Chrome, doesn't matter, just open up that specific app. If you can't find it, you can just look it up just like this. And then over time, regularly come back here, scroll all the way down and click on clear history and website data. So over time, while you're browsing, you're just going and reading articles or logging in or watching videos on your browser, over time it builds up cache. So it's so useful to just come here clear history over time. So that way it's gonna get rid of unnecessary cache that's building up in the background. It not only improves your performance, but also saves you a lot of storage as well. Last but not least, the third way to go about clearing cache is by actually rebooting your system. And not just any reboot, but a hard reset reboot. The way to do that is gonna be by holding onto your volume up and then volume down and then press and hold your power button until the Apple logo pops up. What it does is that it basically resets the RAM of your device, which gets rid of all of the unnecessary cache. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys. One, two, three. Just hold the power slide, ignore this, just keep on holding it until the Apple logo pops up. Because if you just uh, use that toggle, what it does is that it's just gonna be a regular reboot, but by this method that I'm sharing with you, this is gonna be a hard reboot. So once you see the Apple logo, you can let go and you can just let it reboot your device. It's gonna take a bit longer than the usual restart, but it is, as I said, clean, cleaning that all the unnecessary cache, all the unnecessary background tasks, which is gonna be really good. And this is, by, to be honest, if you have any issues with your iPhone, it's a good method to use if it's like frozen or if it's not um, it's a little bit slow. By rebooting, hard rebooting, you can just solve 99% of the issues that you have on your iPhone. So once you have everything, you can just sign back in. So if you go back to your settings now, go to your general iPhone storage and then scroll all the way down. Boom, just like that, you can see that my system data went from five gigs, from five gigs to now three 0.34, now even reduced to 302, how cool is that? So if you just by repeatedly doing this over time, regularly, maybe every month or every two months, it just helps you to save up a lot of storage and clean out all the cash and improve your performance and longevity of your iPhone. But nonetheless, guys, these are some of the good practices that you can do to clear cache on your iPhone in iOS 18. Another bonus one would be to go to your software update and regularly check if you have any updates because this also takes up your background system data. So this might also build up cache. So it's good to update regularly. But nonetheless, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. If it was, just let me know in the comments down below and also leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and also subscribe down below for more interesting iOS content just like this one. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.